cataractcoach.com. Eye hands in the right eye, vivid in the left eye. Why is that? Why are we doing mix and match for these two IOLs with this patient? So here's the first eye. This is the patient's right eye, dominant eye. You can see, there you go, nice looking rexus. Clean up that capsule bag pretty nicely. Here comes the IOL being delivered and watch carefully. We're delivering an eye hands lens. This is the Johnson & Johnson Technus eye hands lens. It is a monofocal lens. Do not be confused. It's a monofocal lens. It does have a central one millimeter zone that may have a little bit extra curvature or spherical aberration that for giving you maybe a pinch more in the depth of field. But again, it's really tiny. It's very minuscule. And honestly, in most cases, not that significant. But I'm happy to put it in this patient's dominant eye because it has a very little compromise. Compared to the ZC Boo lens, the distance vision is just about as good. And maybe there's a little bit of upside at about a meter away depending on the patient's pupil size. Remember, pupil size does make a difference. If the patient has a very large pupil, that central one millimeter zone doesn't mean all that much, right? You're in a four millimeter pupil. But in the case of a patient with a smaller pupil, let's say two and a half millimeter pupil, that central one millimeter zone may play a bigger role. So again, while patients do a lot of Google homework on the internet, uh, they're wrong because they failed to take into account so many other factors, including pupil size, among others. But here you go, beautiful looking eye. Hit the outcome there. Let's seal up that main incision. Notice how we made that main incision really astigmatically neutral, 2.2 millimeters wide. Going in here, making sure there's no retained uh, viscoelastic. Clean that out real nicely. Beautiful result with the eye hands and the dominant eye set for best distance vision. Now, the patient is a very highly myopic patient. The patient's a physician, flew on an airplane to come see me here in Los Angeles in Beverly Hills to have surgery. And here is the scoop. Let me go over the lens calculations with you so we can better understand the situation. So here looking at the right eye, you see a 7.0 Doppler lens is going to be the best option for best distance vision. Don't be confused. Don't put in that 6.5. Trust me, put in the 7. Minus a quarter is better than Plano, especially for this patient. Now look at the second eye. And the second eye, when we look at it here, what's the scoop? Well, What's the lowest power vividity lens available? This patient wants a vividity lens, but it's not available in his power because the lowest power vividity lens in America is 10.0 diopters. This patient is so long in axial length, so myopic that he needs a lower power. We're not going to achieve that. But we can put the vividity in at 10.0 and look what that's going to give us. Probably refractive outcome of minus one. So you'll have Plano in the right eye with an eye hands lens, Vividity in the left eye with a minus one goal, and that'll be perfect. Let's watch the video of the Vividity lens. Now here comes the Vividity lens. Gonna inject that here going inside the left eye. Nice and easy, delivering inside the capsule bag. Importantly, we're using the same clear optic, non-yellow, non-tinted, no blue light filter on this lens because you want it to match the first eye. Because the Technus eye hands on the right that we already implanted a week ago has no tint. So in this case, use the Vividity that has just the UV filter and no blue light filter. No yellow tint to the lens. So we see that goes in the capsule bag, taken out of viscoelastic. And again, this eye is aiming for about a minus one post-op goal. And with the EDOF properties of this lens, the patient's going to be able to achieve a pretty wide range of good vision. So postoperatively, the patient did achieve 20-20 distance vision in the right eye. That's with the eye hands lens. Really not much vision closer than about extended fingertips with that right eye. But this left eye, aiming at about minus one with the 10.0 diopter vividity lens, really gave fantastic range of intermediate and near vision. So the patient at minus one, as you know, the math is focused at one meter, that's what minus one means. And then with about one and a half diopters of range, that means as close as an effective 2.5 millimeter out of maybe about 40 centimeters. So for this patient from about 40 centimeters in the left eye to about a meter, it's fantastically sharp. And the patient is very, very happy. So even this patient with a little bit larger pupils were able to achieve a very wide range without glasses. This is a patient who's been in very thick myopic glasses his whole life and now has a newfound sense of freedom. Again, he's a physician who just now decided to retire. He flew from the East Coast all the way to uh, Los Angeles to have surgery with us. I'm so honored to have him as one of my patients. And I'm happy to say just a beautiful outcome here at the end. 
Put a little triamcin on this eye. Let's get quiet down that inflammation. And this patient has a beautiful outcome. So yes, sometimes there are cases where I'm going to mix and match IOLs. And in this case, that meant I hands in the right hand and the right eye for best distance vision and vividly in the left eye for the best near vision. Thanks for watching.